Welcome, everybody. Uh, we're super excited to get started on our new series called Becoming a Ninja with OneDrive. Now, some of you may have already had experience with OneDrive and feel like skipping this first video might be the wise choice. That would be unwise, in my opinion. We're going to talk about some very important concepts that are basically everything's going to be building on. So you're going to want to watch this. Every video that we're going to try to do in this series, we're going to try to keep below five minutes so to help make consuming this information in faster blocks a lot more efficient and quicker. So let's get into it. So the first thing that's really important for everybody to understand is that there are two kinds of OneDrives out there that sometimes gets people confused. Microsoft offers their personal OneDrive. So basically if you create a, a Microsoft account, uh, it'll give you a OneDrive for personal use. That is not the same thing as business OneDrive. Uh, that license comes with when you get a Microsoft 365 account uh, for your corporation and you have access then to OneDrive for each license that's been given to everybody, which is typically handled by your administrator. If that's not something you understand, you don't have to worry about it. That's your administrator's job. Uh, but the important thing I'm trying to make sure that you understand is you may be confused by why you have two different OneDrives, and that's really the big focus that you need to understand there. The second thing that's really important for you to understand is what is OneDrive? So OneDrive is a solution provided by Microsoft to allow someone like yourself to have access to the data from anywhere. How it's able to accomplish that is it saves the data at Microsoft's cloud data center that it basically allows you to have access to anywhere in the US or the world for that matter to your data. And you can have access to that from your mobile device, from your computer, or any computer that has an internet browser. So they're really allowing you to centralize the data that you're trying to do. So what does that mean in just kind of realistic layman terms? Basically, you can put a file or files, documents or things out there on OneDrive, and you can go to a web browser and access it. You can use an application to access it. And you can do that from pretty much any device which allows you to have access to that one central data from anywhere. And they also provide cool features like sharing it and other things, which we'll get into a lot more detail in the videos to come. So the third thing that's really important is to understand that you can access that data in two main ways. And I'm gonna cover this right now so you can kind of understand because I've seen so many people who have been using OneDrive for so long and they only access it one way, not realizing that you can get at that data multiple ways. So let's get into that. So as you can see that I have my web browser open and I'm going to outlook.office365.com and you can get there from a lot of different ways. But now that I've logged in as my business email account, uh, I kind of get this waffle right here. So when I click on it, I can click on my OneDrive and I can see my data. Now, some of you may be using OneDrive off of the client that's here on your computer. See how it's syncing and, and you can see it, it just actually started syncing some beta real quick. Um, and then if I open it on Explorer over here, you'll see that uh, I have OneDrive right here. So I have this OneDrive link um, that when I click on this, it will bring me to these exact same files in my file explorer. So you can access that data really from two different directions. It's the same data. There's just two different ways of getting at it. Well, you might say, well, why are they giving us two ways to do it? Is there, are they just trying to confuse us? No, the reason why this is really nice is maybe you might be on uh, a device uh, that you want to, you know, a computer somewhere else and you wanna access this data and you don't have it set up with the client. You just wanna quickly access the file that you have. Maybe it might be um, some drawings or things like that. So you can just open up a web browser, log in, access those drawings, log off, and you're done. You don't have to go through the process of getting that machine set up so that you can access it from your computer. Now, a lot of people are used to having like a map drives or things like this. So you, you, you tend to see people go this direction uh, for using OneDrive because it just seems to make more sense because they can just access it from the quick launch over here and start browsing it. Now, <clears throat> if you don't have that configured for yours, I wanna go ahead and, and give you the option of seeing how you can do that. So if I click the sync icon, what it's gonna do is it's gonna try to sync this OneDrive data to the machine I'm sitting on right now. And so I just wanna show you what that looks like. So when I hit okay, 
it's going to come through, give me the, hey, this is the account you're logging into, email address. I'm going to say sign in. It's going to go through some configuration. And then if you don't have two-factor authentication, you should, which we have videos about that. I'm going to go ahead and authenticate. Okay, so now it's saying that this device is going to be managed. In other words, you're going to allow things to manage this device for your OneDrive. So in this option, um, they can install or control settings or these types of things. This is what it's notifying you about. So once I go through, it kind of goes through a registration process, and it says, okay, all set. So now what it's done, you see this little guy blinking here, is it's configuring that little OneDrive client on my computer. And now it's saying, okay, this is where it's going to put that data. So I'm going to hit next. It's going to just kind of guide you through some things, just some informational stuff. We'll say, I don't want to set up my phone right now. We can do that later. And then I can open the folder. OK, and so as you can see here, once it's kind of finished going through the synchronization, if I bring this over, you look. See, I have this accounting share, accounting share. I have some stuff for the desktop, documents, files. And what I've done here is I've redirected my desktop and my documents, which is something that we'll show you how you can do a little bit later. Um, but the focus is uh, now I have all of this data that is on my web browser now syncing to my computer. So now if I want to access documents or things that I have in here, I can click on the files that I have um, and I can change or edit them. Uh, here's a demo file. If I click here, you'll see it's the same thing, demo file. So what does that mean? I can access the same data from two different ways. And it's really important to remember that some of the features that you have in the web browser, you just don't have in that sync client. A lot of people love that sync client because they can have that same look and feel to map drives. They can access that data easier. You can share things like you would normally uh, you know, do from the online, the web browser version. But the web browser gives you a lot more information, which we'll cover in some other videos so that you can kind of see that. But I want to show you that you have two different ways, which is very critical, um, and it's really important for you to understand that. So that's it for today, and uh, stay tuned for our next video. Thank you.